Hi, this is Sean from Ashland with a really quick Vectorworks tutorial on a function that when it first appeared, when 2012 first came out, I was so frustrated with it, I almost gave up on it. It was so cool. I was on YouTube the other day and I came across one of those uh, Nemechek uh, 2012 new release videos with all the new functions in it. And I remember how last year when I when I first saw those, how exciting the idea of the automatic working planes push-pull mode with the automatic uh, solid addition or subtraction. You know, you could just draw a shape onto an object here. I'll do it for you as I'm talking here. Draw a shape onto an object and then extrude it right away and then uh, make a solid addition or a solid subtraction just like that. In one step. That was really, really very cool. And then when we all got it, myself and friends of mine and I would try it all out and it just wouldn't work and and it was so frustrating I almost gave up on it first of all in those videos it talks about using the um, the option key which is the Mac keyboard shortcut we'll be using the alt key for Windows if you're using Windows um, as I am um, let me show you what first before I do that the default the basic setting for this for this how this works I'm in automatic uh, mode here which means that my cursor is sensing and moving the working plane around to whatever side of the cube that I'm on I'm gonna go down to the top here and draw that same two-dimensional rectangle I'm just drawing a two-dimensional shape onto the surface now if I move my cursor in I'm not holding anything down I'm just pushing my cursor right into the middle of that shape I get this nice salmon highlight going on here if I left click and then just move the mouse move the cursor up left click again I've created another shape on top of the other shape. That's cool. That in itself is, is, is cool and how I usually use it. I've got now a second extrude right on top of the first extrude, but it is uh, another shape. So I can click on it and drag it or I can delete it and it's completely separate from uh, the original cubes. The really cool thing that I want to do is be able to just chop into this cube using that solid subtraction. So let me show you um, the, the standard way of doing this, the basic way of doing this. I'm going to go ahead and draw that same rectangle shape onto the surface. I'll use the push-pull mode here and click and just drag down to the bottom of my cube like that. Well, if I do that without any, holding any keys down, now I have one cube inside of another cube. So if I hold the, um, the shift key down and select them both, now I can go up to the, the model menu uh, click on that and then subtract solids. I'm going to tell it which piece I wanted to subtract from, say OK, and I get basically the same result. There it is. There's that same exact same shape uh, with a couple of extra steps. So let me show you the shortcut way to do this um, with the, the 2012 edition. Um, so I'm going to grab the rectangle tool again, same step, go up to the top here, and I'm going to uh, draw that two dimensional shape, move my cursor on here. I'm going to left click, scooch down the cursor and then right here at the end of it I'm going to release my left button I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to click again and that alt right at the end is what does that so let me walk you through that again just so you can see what we were all doing is we were holding the the drawing the shape on here and then holding the alt key down and then drawing another rectangle on top of that and it's like well that's not what we wanted at all so um, the trick is to click draw your shape move your cursor on there left click Get it where you want it to be. Now hold the Alt key down, release your left mouse button, and click your left mouse button again. Whoops, somehow I got my sequence off there. It happens, it happens, you don't do it just right. It's hard to do it slow, actually, so I'll, I'll do it a little faster here. Uh, and then hold the Alt key down right at the end there, right before you do that last click. And that's what chops off that corner here. It makes a lot, um, it makes a whole lot more sense if you do it like that. Also, uh, alternately, you can draw on the side of a shape. So if I um, uh, draw on the side and make a solid addition, I'm going to click on this guy, just yank out a little bump off the side here, hold the Alt key down, release my left mouse button, click again. Now what I've done is I've added to this shape. You see over here in Object Info it says Solid Addition right there. It didn't, it didn't make another cube on the side here, it automatically added it to the shape. Um, and that makes it um, one step for that process. So if you if you struggle with that like I did, uh, um, that's the real trick to that um, is is holding that Alt key down right before that last click, not at the top a start of the uh, of the operation. I'll do it one more time here for that solid subtraction. Draw your two dimensional shape. Click, move your cursor up, left click, scooch down to where you want it to be. Alt key down, release your left mouse button. Down with the left mouse button that chops out or adds to your shape depending on which direction you're pulling in. That's the secret to that little trick. So hopefully that's cleared up any confusion that you might have had with that operation. Thanks a lot.